Hi. I may get killed making this video. Diana, William, and Harry. I'm just going to read the description. There, there, there's just none more. The most heartbreaking story of our time. Diana's life as a princess and her legacy as a mother take it too soon from her sons, William and Harry. From the moments William and Harry are born into the house of Windsor, they become their young mother's whole world. I've got two very healthy, strong boys. I realize how incredibly lucky I am, Diana, rem Diana reminds herself every morning, but even the Princess of Wales wonders, am I a good mother? Diana has faced this seemingly impossible challenge. One son destined to be King of England, and another determined to find his own way. She teaches them to honor royal tradition, even while, while daring to break it. Sometimes I'd like a time machine, Diana says, as William and Harry grow up, never imagining they would have less than a lifetime together. Even after she's gone, her sons follow their mother's lead and her heart. As the years pass and William and Harry grow into adulthood and form families of their own, they carry on Diana's name, her likeness, and her incomparable spirit. James Patterson applies his wealthy skills to real-life history with novelistic style in this deeply personal and revealing biography of the world's most storied family from the world's number one best-selling author. This one also has pictures in, uh, in between it. And pictures like this. And... Also, pictures from the past. Um, I like this story. Obviously, they don't, they don't speculate what happened. There's no, there's no speculation. There's no anything. He's very respectful of what had happened. Obviously, it was a tragedy, the crash that had happened. I'm not going to talk conspiracy theories in this video, y'all. This is not that video. What I believe is what I believe. And I'm not even going to talk about it because, honestly, the royal family scares me a little bit. Um, because they have so much power and influence and it, I'm glad I don't live in the UK when I'm talking about this. Um, uh, it's just, you know, I'm just scared of the royal family. Um, but anyway, to get back. So, um, yeah, this was just a story about, um, Princess Diana, her life and like her roles as princess and mother. And it was a really heartwarming story. Actually, obviously it comes to a sad, you know, ending, but it was a really heartwarming story to see how good a mother she was to her boys and how she really tried to do the best um, as a princess. I guess it's just, you know, The conspiracy theories are all well and fun to talk about, but I think one thing that we have to recognize if you're going to talk about the conspiracy on the internet is these boys did go through a lot. After reading the story, they went through a lot. And I also know what it's like to lose a mother. And so I guess just be careful about the language you use and what you say because they did go through a really really tragic loss of their mother and they're still hurt by it so just make sure that you're being careful about what you're saying I'm not saying you can't talk about it, it I mean at least in America if you're in America it's a free country but it's just kind of like those things like people say like just be mindful of what you say because what you say can make a huge difference i'm sorry this kind of turned into a psa but i'm scared of the royal family all right that's why i don't talk about their 
conspiracies or the conspiracies of their inner workings or what happened to Diana. I, I don't want to do that. So just going to say, I will watch the videos y'all make of the conspiracy theory, but I will not make one myself. Uh, we all know how I feel about the Royal family, uh, and everything. I loved the queen, loved the queen to death. And Charles is king. That, that, that's all I'm gonna say. That, that's it. That's it. Congratulations to him and Camilla, Camilla. I think it's just Camilla. Congratulations uh, to the king and queen of. Is it Sussex? England. Let's just go with England. Um, yeah, so happy for them. Um, hope they live long and prosper. Um, unless anybody has a different opinion that actually lives in the UK or England. If you have a different opinion, let me know. I don't live there, so um, I'm just trying to be as nice as possible. But yeah, this, this book is, I'm so sorry. This book is definitely a good read. I definitely recommend reading it to see what her life was like and everything that she went through and everything that she had to do and what her sons were like growing up to. If you want to know more about William and Harry, I think this is a great place to learn about it. Um, I haven't read Prince Harry's book. All my friends were saying since I read this, I should read that. I might. I mean, I don't have money to spend right now, so I'd have to get it out of a library. And the library near my house is going to be closed until next year. So I can't go to a library until 2024. So, you know, but yeah, this was good. I'm running out of books for the book series. I will try to read books and get them done for you guys. But I spent so much time reading Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare, which we'll get to eventually. I spent so much time reading Chain of Thorns that I would to take a break from reading. So I got to get back into it again. Uh, that book was long, like almost a thousand pages. So, um, yeah, but I will start reading some more books and get them done. I think the next book I'm going to read is, um, Ralph Macchio's, uh, kind of story of his career um, because I'm a fan of him from The Outsiders and The Karate Kid. So I think he might, he's mostly talking about The Karate Kid, but I think he might mention The Outsiders a little bit. So I'm going to read it. Anyway, so um, I love you guys. Check out this book if you want. Uh, be careful what you say on the internet. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.